Jay from j &L Video Postcards here to talk about the National Parks Passport Book. When most people think of national parks, they think of blue skies, beautiful landscape, and wildlife. It is that and so much more, but when I think of national parks, I think of my National Parks Passport. The passport isn't something you need to get into national parks, it's more like a guide or a prologue to the parks. The National Parks Passport is a just-for-fun way to visit all the national parks and national parks historic sites and have a record of that visit. The program began in 1986 and has over 400 plus participating park service units. Just like a real passport, the program consists of visiting national park sites and getting the corresponding cancellations and stickers. The program is fun for all ages and you'll find it works as a great opportunity to meet people and talk to knowledgeable park rangers. Let's talk about some of the different types of passport books. The National Park Passport currently comes in three flavors and I will talk about the differences, pros and cons of each. First is the Classic Edition, which is the most affordable and compact of the passport books. Currently at a cost of $12.95, the passport book is 6 inches by 4 inches and is soft cover spiral bound with 112 color pages. Second of our flavors is the Collector's Edition. This one is bigger and more detailed. Included with every site is a description of that site and some extra pages for cancellations that may not be in the main list of locations. This version has color maps, photos, and a checklist of sites at the beginning of each color-coded region. This version of the Passport book retails for $29.95, is 7.5 inches wide with a height of 10 inches, spiral bound, and coming in at a whopping 192 pages. Last, but definitely not least, is the Explorer Edition. The Explorer Edition comes with a case, and the book is actually a binder you can open to rearrange how you like and add more pages if needed. They also sell these in the store as well. The case has a mesh pocket for pens and photos. The Portfolio 3-Ring Binder measures in at 11 by 8 inches and is the most costly coming in at $69.95. Picking the book that is right for you is a matter of taste, affordability, and the type of National Parks visitor you are. I started out with the Classic Edition, which was very portable, but when I started collecting a few cancellations, I found that it just wasn't the complete experience I was looking for, so I upgraded to the Collector's Edition. This version provides me with exactly the experience I was looking for. It is beefy, beautiful, and has a full list of information that I read just before my visit to get excited. It also fits perfectly in my sling backpack. I believe the Explorer Edition to be maybe for a more rugged type of visitor to the national parks. For those who like to camp and get dirty, I believe this is the book for you. It is less aesthetically pleasing than the Collector's Edition, but it makes up for it with the case and expandability. The big issue I had with the book though was the price tag. The book is more than double the price of the Collector's Edition and in my opinion is nowhere twice as good. Collecting cancellation stamps. Now we get to the fun part, which is visiting the national parks. The cancellation stamps can almost always be found at a ranger stand, bookstore, or gift shop on the premises. Before I visit any national park site, I check the NPS app for the location of the cancellation stamp. Last weekend, I was in Washington, D.C. for the Cherry Blossom Festival and decided to get as many of the stamps as I could which you can see from the map, you're able to collect most of them in one day just by walking. I was doing fine until I got to Constitution Gardens where there was no stamp. There was no person to ask about the stamp. I went to the booth prior to Constitution Gardens and the booth after Constitution Gardens and nobody knew anything about it. And to this date, I had to miss out on that stamp. I might have to write a harshly worded letter to the National Park Service. Other difficulties you might experience are due to the global pandemic. There are several locations that are either still closed or have very limited hours. For example, I took a visit to Hamilton Grange in uptown Manhattan. The exterior was open, but the house in the visitor center was closed. I've been to some locations that will have at least the stamp sitting out, but that was not the case here. This is why it makes checking the locations on the National Park Service webpage or app all the more important. 
I wanted to do an actual visit to a national park or national park historic site so that I can demonstrate to you just how easy it is to obtain the cancellation. Here we are at Grant's Tomb, which is the largest mausoleum in North America and houses the remains of the, the victorious Union General of the Civil War and 18th President of the United States. I've actually visited here before, but was not allowed in because of COVID restrictions. After visiting the National Park Service app, I can see that while the visitor center is closed, the upper chamber is open. Visiting a National Park Service site is almost always the same for me. I admire the site first taking in the natural beauty or construction, noting the mosaics on the wall depicting the uh, different scenes from the Union General's life. I then pay my respects to the General and his wife. Thank you, General, for preserving the Union, which, of course, makes the National Park Service possible. I then I the passport book at the visitor desk. I note that there is only one. I was hoping for them to have Hamilton Grange, to which I left before coming here, but that site was closed. I find the appropriate page in my book, check the date on the stamp, and apply. Always remember to close the ink pad for the person behind you. They will appreciate it. That's it for the video. I appreciate you joining me and hope you consider the National Park Service passport and the National Park Service system in general. Please like and subscribe.